What's going on guys today? We're going to go over a very important question. This is a question that a lot of students guess on. And even if they get the right answer, luckily, they don't understand why that's the right answer. And when they go to the next exam, they're going to guess on it again because they never understood it in the first place. And they're essentially gambling with their score. And this video is to help you understand the question so you won't be gambling with your score anymore. So first I'm going to show you how you can quickly get the answer. And then I'm going to explain why that's the answer. What's up guys? John from Admission Hackers. Quick announcement before we start. You're about to see one of the fastest way to solve these SAT questions. And I've created a six week program that will train you to solve them the exact same way. Everything is in the video format, so it's easier to follow than your SAT prep books. And the program only covers what's proven to be tested on the SAT to not waste your time and raise your score quickly. Also, I'll be mentoring you personally until you get your target score, but more details in the description box down below. That's it, let's get to the video. So first I'm gonna show you how you can quickly get the answer, and then I'm gonna explain why that's the answer. So let's quickly solve it. It gives you this equation right there, and the question says the equation above represents a parabola on the xy plane. Which of the following is the equivalent form of the equation that displays the x-intercepts of the parabola as constants or coefficients? So the only one that does that is going to be choice D. It's simple, right? I mean, who would have guessed that there would be a question where you don't need to do any math and get to the answer right away? And it's not even the first question. So to understand why D is the answer, we're going to start off with by understanding what the question is asking. And then we're going to go over why D actually answers the question. So what exactly is the question asking? Well, let's first break down the question. There is this equation, right? We have this equation right here. And we want to find what we want to find the equivalent forms of the equation. So we want to find the equivalent form and form that does what the form that displays the x intercepts of the parabola as constants or coefficients. So we want it to display what x intercepts as constant or coefficient. So essentially twist this equation around without changing anything and make it show x intercept as a constant or coefficient. And to do that, you need to know what x intercept is and what constant and coefficient actually means. Well, first, what does the x intercept mean? It's referring to where the graph intersects the x axis right here, where the graph intercepts the x axis is known as the x intercepts. And what is a constant? Constant is referring to just flat out numbers that are by themselves. So in this case, eight would be an example of a constant, a number that's by itself. And what are coefficients? Well, coefficients are referring to numbers attached to variables. So for instance, if you look at six X over here, six is a number that's attached to a letter X right there, which is going to be a variable. So in this case, six is known as a coefficient. So coming back to the question, we have to modify the original equation so that it shows the x intercepts as a number by themselves or numbers attached to the variables. And to do that, we're going to need to know where the x intercepts are located and how are we going to find it? Well, if you think about the x intercepts, they have one thing in common. Their y values are always going to be equal to zero because wherever the graph is intercepting the x axis, your y is always going to be zero. That means we can come to this equation right here and set the y equal to zero in order for us to find where the x intercepts are located. So let's find out where the x intercepts are located. Zero is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 8. And how do we find values of x that makes the equation zero? We factor. Zero is equal to x minus 4, x minus 2. And we know that our x is going to be equal to 4 and 2, and they are going to be known as our x intercepts. And what do we want to do with these x intercepts? We want to show them as constants or coefficient in the new equation. So which of the following new equations have four and two as a constant or coefficients? Well, you don't see four and two anywhere in choice A, neither B, nor C, but on choice D, you see two and four right there. They're represented as a set of constants. And that is why choice D is the answer. So at this point, you might be thinking, okay, that's cool, I understand why D is the answer, but John, when you saw this question, how did you immediately know that choice D was the right answer? Like without doing any of these, how did you know that D was the answer? Well, here's a quick pro tip. See, in order for us to find out what the x intercepts are, we're gonna have to factor them. So in order for us to find out what the x intercepts are, we're gonna have to factor our original equation and get something like this. And the thing about the factored form is that it will always represent the x intercepts as constants. But just by looking at that, you can tell what the x intercepts are because they're represented as constants. 
That's what the factor form does. It represents the x-intercepts as constants. So if the question is asking you to find an equation that represents the x-intercepts as constants or coefficients, you automatically just think about the factor form. And the only one that is in the factored form is choice D. That's how you know immediately D is the answer. So when it comes to the SAT, getting a higher score depends on whether you can do these complicated math questions, but it also comes down to recognizing these connections. And you know where to learn all those connections. So that's going to be it for today's video, guys. If you guys found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys on the next video. What's up guys, John from Admission Hackers. You just saw one of the fastest ways to solve these SAT questions. And I have created a six week program that will train you to solve them the exact same way. Everything is in the video format, so it's easier to follow than your SAT prep books. And the program covers only what is proven to be tested on the SAT to not waste your time and raise your score quickly. And I'll be mentoring you personally until you get your target score, but more details in the description box down below. That's it, I'll see you in the next one.